of tattooing Liar. Carrie's skull. My skull. Liar. Well, we weren't gonna, it, this is also true. <laughs> but where, where is your tattoo artist? AWOL. And the tattoo artist was actually JJ. Oh. Well, you right? didn't work that question up real well. I'm like, where's he going with this? The tattoo artist really was, was a uh, guy was. <laughs> you know, some dude. Uh, some dude. But uh, JJ from Fight tattooed your skull. Tattooed my skull. Feels good. Yes, he did. You like it? Uh, like it, yeah. And I've got to mention one thing about the shirt because uh, I actually ran into Mike Piazza from the Dodgers. And it's funny because people always, you know, when I'm out, they're like, oh, do you have new Slayer? Do you need new Slayer? But they have the catcher of the Dodgers come up and tell me about what Slayer was doing in the studio because I guess he was like <laughs> hanging out and he's like, well, Ricky, you know, I went and saw Slayer. This is the guy from the Dodgers. He's like, saw Slayer in the studio and the new drummer, I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, well the new drummer's really awesome and, and I walked in when they were playing South Heaven and uh, so you're friends with like Mike? Yeah, Mike's pretty cool. Very Mike will be digging it. Mike will be watching. Yeah, I, I say Mike. Yeah, you know, that, Mike. That's you the guy with the Mike. shirt. He goes, yeah, he tells me when they're going to be on MTV, they're going to wear the shirt. So obviously you did. He did? Yes, he did. I didn't tell him that. Oh, that, that, maybe that's I what did. He was I, I, I might have. We're going to find out. There's a lot of stuff going in. You know, don't tell the place. Hello! We're going to come back. We got all sorts of scary videos coming up. We've got uh, Typo Negative. We have got Nine Inch Nails. And even more scary, Slayer. Stay tuned. Dude, I mean, this has been. Four years since we've had something from Four you guys? Four years since our last studio record. Right, you had the live record out. Yep. Now, the thing that a lot of Slayer fans know is that you have a new drummer. And when, as soon as you put on this record, I mean, I don't know if you did this intentionally, but the first thing that comes through when you listen to the record is the drums. Was that done intentionally so everybody said, look, this is what this guy's all about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so t tell <laughs> kinda, me. Kinda, kinda, yeah. Tell me, what happened with Dave? Is it something we don't talk he about? He died. <laughs> he's out waiting for a tattoo artist. He died. Yeah, he died. Okay, because I, he I heard he's doing another band. But that's another story. Is he? That's what I heard. Um, good friend. I heard that a couple times. Well, then let's talk about the new drummer. Because at first, you know, there's a lot of Slayer fans that were real because drums are a very important part of Slayer. But as soon as they hear the new record, they can tell that your new drummer definitely, you know, Doesn't fits have any in. Problems? No problem. No problem. <laughs> I mean, from the first four seconds of the song, first, you know, on the record, you can tell that. So tell us about the new drummer. What would you like to know about them? Well, <laughs> he was, he, he met him, well, not that kind of stuff. That's your own personal business. I don't want to know about that. Anyway, thank but, you to stay out of my personal affairs. <laughs> exactly. But he used to be in the Forbidden, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was in Forbidden. And the uh, odd thing in the whole story is um, he quit Forbidden the day before we called him. So it kind of just like worked out perfect. Weird thing. Did you, you know, have a lot of people auditioning, told me that. or did it just kind of work out perfect? Well, it just kind of worked out, you know, because we don't like to audition a lot of a lot of people, because then you get the uh, the uh, people that are just session drummers and say, oh, I can do this, and that's a waste of my time. Okay, we're going to play uh, some older classic Slayer right now, and do you want to lead into this video? Pell Seasons. You look oh. at the camera right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, but I'm looking to see what song it is. <laughs> just because no, you know what's like coming up don't mean we do. Oh. Huh? oh, gee. What would you like to see, Tom? <laughs> oh, I'd oh, like to gee. see MTV play more of our videos more frequently. Well, so would I, but instead, how about one right now? <laughs> All right, one for now, since we're on your show. Exactly. <laughs> Seasons in the Abyss, coming to you live from Egypt. Bring pumpkins. We're all sitting around here and being around Carrie King and Tom with a knife. Not a, not a very safe place to be, especially after listening to the new record. We're going to play Ditto Head from the new record in just a little bit, but right now, listening to the new record, I mean, it's... Where do you come from when you're writing these lyrics? I mean, it's all like murder and death, which is, and those are like the happy songs. Yeah. I mean, is this is this where you're at all the time? I mean, you, have you ever gotten like in a mood where you wanted to write like happy song? <laughs> I mean, I can't really see Slayer writing like it was a great day today. Not even well, I I, I fart around at home with like like kind of stupid like a six string or a twelve string, and I'll sit there and write lyrics. But where do your lyrics come from? Is it movies that you... I mean, I, I would hate to think that it comes from no. personal experience. No. no do you put your mind in, like, yep. the thought, like, read a book of nope. some, like, American Psycho no, or something you, like that? Yeah. Well, it depends. You know, you read, you know, and uh, I just sort of engulf myself in the idea. And then I try to, you know, I sit in the middle of it, and then I just try to imagine how it feels, what it, you know, uh, every, what I would feel, what I would think, you know. Just crazy things. If you are a murderer or a victim yeah. or something like yeah. that. Do you write all the lyrics or is it kind of a collaboration? No, just, so it helps that so Carrie is in the same mindset most of the time? It's an even split between me and Carrie. So it's two sick guys coming up with ideas of yeah. a sick song. And yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going to play the video for Ditto Head. And we're hanging out with Slayer on tonight's ball. So stay tuned. Hello! <laughs> As kids, were you guys like ever into... I mean, I wouldn't figure you would end up being something like a 
Power Ranger or something like that. But for, <laughs> for Halloween, did you guys dress up as Halloween? Yeah. For Halloween, I what, like what Halloween. Are the things that you do. If I get a chance, I, I like to make myself up. You still do? Yeah. As what? Well, I, I mean, I've gotten a little better at it, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. I, one one year, I put bullet holes in my face and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of my cheeks blown out. Uh -huh. yeah, I did it myself. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah. I, I never thought that it's like, Carrie, it's Halloween. What do you want to do? Well, I want to be a kitten. What are you going to be, Tom? <laughs> oh, I want to be Snoopy. You know, it's always like bloody, no, gory things, one, frightening one, the children. One Halloween, I was Gene Simmons. Uh huh. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was a long time ago. Actually. I saw the last video. I think he was trying to be Tom or Ryan on his last video. Yeah. So I kind of noticed that too. <laughs> well, right now we're going to play the video for Ditto Head. Is there anything you want to say about that? Uh, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, well, there you go. And with that, it, oh, work, it works. With, it works with the cartoons. <laughs> Here's Slayer, Ditto Head. Can you tell? It's the Halloween edition of the Headbangers Ball. And uh, we got guys from Slayer, and we just played Typo Negative, which... Don't look so excited, man. I am excited. <laughs> it's a Halloween. I'm being mysterious, can't you tell? The fact is I've been up all night. It has nothing to do with it. It's Halloween. I'm looking scary and mysterious. We played Typo yeah, Negative, perfect scary. Halloween thing. That's right. But you're, Carrie, you're a big Typo Negative fan, right? Yeah, they're right. And I think, as a matter of fact, they're playing this Halloween with, with Danzig down the road with Danzig. And Halloween yeah. night, they're playing at Irvine Meadows in California, Irvine? I believe. I think so. Am I wrong? I don't know. I thought that it was Universal. Okay. No, somewhere outside. I, no, I think that's Oingo Boingo at Universal. We're telling you in California where to go for Halloween. What are you guys going to do this Halloween night? <laughs> Probably go to that show. <laughs> Oingo Boingo? No. no. The other show. <laughs> <laughs> So what about tour plans for? I mean, you guys actually did a couple like kind of warm-up shows already, didn't you? Yeah. Where were these? Some off the wall places. Uh, one was holes in, in the walls, man. One of them was uh, Davenport, and then we did the Milwaukee Metal Fest with all the Cookie Monster bands. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, and explain the Cookie Monster bands. <laughs> Cookie. Uh -huh. How was that? I, I mean, how, and how, how did the new fan? How did the new? Uh, Songs go over for Slayer fans. Because, I mean, when you hear it, if people are going to go, you know, a lot of bands will put out a record when they've waited four years and change so much. But you listen to this record and it's definitely a Slayer record. I was very surprised at the reaction, you know, because I, when I, we, we tried new stuff, what was that, before Seasons came out in Europe, before we were going over there. And the album wasn't out or just been out, and people look at you like, what the hell is that you're playing? Yeah. You know, but this time they came back after the show, you know, when kids, you know, would hang out by the bus and we'd hang out a little bit and they'd say, hey, you know, your new songs are great. And I was like, yeah. cool. And this time around, when I would introduce them as new songs, it would all like after, because we, after we would get done with uh, Mind Control, the, the place would like go on a roar after we were done. Like, yeah, like, you know, kind of appreciated the fact that Yeah, which is usually different when you've got a new song. The effect is like, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Like, we got to come back with Slayer, and we got some more scary videos and more Halloween stuff for you. Ball hanging Hello. out with Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> and the new record is out, you know, we were talking before about them having a new drummer, and if you picked up Divine Intervention, you know, the new drummer definitely uh, fits the bill for Slayer. And also, you had just done, like, a pretty crazy schedule as far as when the record came out, like in stores, in stores and stuff. Very crazy. 22, 23 in stores uh, in, what, 11, 12 days? So it's doing, like, two in stores a day. Yeah. Every yeah. day. Fly, Meeting about how many people fly, every Fly, sign, eat, drink, we fly, sign, eat, drink, sleep, fly, we sign, average, eat, drink. We averaged out about a thousand kids. I love them. Uh, the one in El Toro, the last one we did, we had about 2,000, 3,000 kids. So you must have signed something like, like 30,000 hours, hours. Like over 30,000 autographs. Man. You think your hands and wrists would just be like... Nah. That wasn't it. My butt hurt. <laughs> From sitting Can down you say on butt? Yeah. Can you say butt? <laughs> you, 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 said, were, you, were, you were suffering some discomfort in the gluteus maximus region. I had region. bar stool rash, all right? <laughs> But I mean, when you when you go and meet that many fans in that many days, do you hear a lot of the exact same thing? I mean, yeah. everybody going, I love the record, how's... Yeah, and you, and you know, they were really stoked that we came out and took the time to sign their stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of times we could only sign one thing, too. you know, because the lines were so long and we were on a schedule. You know, it's just like one item, but there'd be people bringing everything, everything. we ever made. they say, sign this, sign this, and once in a while, you know, if it wasn't busy, we'd sign everybody's, and they'd be all yeah, stoked. What's some of the bizarre stuff? Diapers. Uh, diapers. Sign diapers. <laughs> diapers. Clean ones. Okay. Yeah, diapers also. Was the person uh, wearing them? No. Yeah, I also, uh, cool. what was another one? They, they would bring the little kids. These are Slayer fans. Bring them. Sign my kids? Sign, sign my yeah. kid. You know, That's which a kind very of, terrifying thought. You, you think about it, thought. you know, we've been around 12, 13 years, and these are the That's guys true. that were 20 That's, when we yeah, started. Yeah, true. <laughs> their kids are, they're starting them early. They're par you know? parents now, and they're sitting there going, yeah, here's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love this record, and here's my son. Yeah, can you sign his shirt? Conceived so to South of Heaven. <laughs> 
Well, right now we're going to play the last video of the night, and Slayer will be out on the road in the States right around January. Oh, yeah, something? January. January. January, like 11th, we start, and we go probably till first week or so of March. Well, thanks again for stopping by. And right now we're going to leave you with the last video of the night, keeping in the Halloween spirit. Here's Megadeth with Go to Hell. Hello! Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.